There will be no jail time for the two former Hamilton paramedics who failed to properly care for Yusuf Al Hasnawi on the night he was shot and killed. Stephen Snively and Christopher Mershant were given an 18 month conditional sentence in the community instead. Kelly Botello has the story. Former Hamilton paramedics Christopher Mershant in the red tie and Stephen Snively in the hat assumed that 19 year old Yusuf Al Hasnawi had been shot with a BB gun when in reality the young man was shot with a 22 caliber bullet and was dying from that wound. Multiple witnesses told CHCH News at the time that Snively and Mershant were not taking Al Hasnawi seriously as the teen was lying on the sidewalk near Maine and Sanford in December of 2017. As sad as it sounds, it didn't seem that important. They were looking at him like he was embellishing or just faking. It was really sad. In her victim impact statement, Al Hisnawi's mother, Amal Al Zarufi, says she remains in a state of unbearable grief four years after her son's death. And even before the paramedics were charged, she told CHCH News that she knew they had failed to do their jobs that night. My son should have got the attention he needed. Like, why? What made you think that he's acting? Both Marshawn and Snively were found guilty last year of failing to provide the necessaries of life. It took them 23 minutes to load Al Hasnawi into the ambulance and get him to a hospital. And even though he was suffering from a gunshot wound, they took him to St. Joe's instead of the General Hospital, which specializes in treating trauma injuries. Al Hasnawi would die a short time later. A conditional sentence is not good enough for family friend Faraz Al Najim. Based on everything that happened, that they should at least serve a few years in prison. You know, this is a, a beautiful boy that had a beautiful future ahead of him. Yusuf Al Hasnawi's body is buried in Iraq, and that's where his father, Majid, and his brother, Ahmed, are today. We were able to connect with them via phone. They deserve way more. They deserve. The full uh, maximum sentence, which is five years. Ahmed Al Hasnawi, seen here in surveillance footage from that night, watched his big brother die. He always taught me how to be a man, how to do things right, and how to be smarter. Dale King, the man who shot Al Hasnawi, was found not guilty of second degree murder and walked free. The Crown has appealed that verdict. For Mershant and Snively's 18 month conditional sentence, they'll have to remain on their properties for the first six months. Then each will have a curfew and have to complete 150 hours of community service. The judge today said he's confident they will not reoffend and said this incident was a one off situation among paramedics. Not an easy pill to swallow for his loved ones. It's a person's life in your hands, and you should do everything you can to help that person. And I feel like at that moment, my son didn't get that. Kelly Botello, CHCH News.